What's going on guys? Welcome back to episode 8 of the No Money Spent Account. A very, very exciting episode today. And in particular, we do our first draft in quite a while. I did all of my drafts on my No Money Spent Account towards the start. And uh, we, we ended up doing a lot of challenges this weekend. Uh, getting up a lot in XP, uh, buying and renting cards to get them. XP challenges done. But we get a draft token and I head across the draft and I swear, this is probably my best ever draft. Like, I see people getting like Pink Diamond Kareem, but the rest of their team is pretty average. This team across the entire board is really really good so make sure you stick around and make sure you watch that draft it will come up very very shortly but um yeah hopefully you do enjoy this episode any uh, any love and feedback down below is always appreciated tomorrow is the top 10 uh once again on the friday so if you want to submit your clips uh they will be pretty much like two hours after this video goes out that's kind of like the cutoff but if you a few hours after that uh, i will still let people submit them so make sure you get your clips in if you have any and uh yeah let's get straight into the video starting off here we had a locker code to start the week it was the Dunk Toba Locker Code. And I put this in after I gave away a Pink Diamond Vince Carter across on my Twitch channel. If you weren't aware, I did that last weekend. And uh, hopefully, it's not the last of the giveaways that I do with 2K. Uh, but yeah, we gave away a free Pink Diamond Vince Carter to Murray. Murray DG ended up winning that one. So big congrats to Murray. And uh, a lot of people seem to enjoy that. So if you want a chance at winning potentially in the future some more Pink Diamonds, free cards pretty much, head across to my Twitch channel. Make sure you're following and, uh, and follow me on Twitter as well so you get updates on when I'm doing all that sort of stuff. Stuff, but we do have a chance here at getting a Dunk Toba pack. It would really help us, honestly. The No Money Spent account, I don't want to spend too much MT. And as you know, I don't open packs, I don't have VC. So I really would like to get some packs. But unfortunately, I'd probably get the one of the worst ball drops in history and end up with a slasher pack. So we take the slasher pack, though, because sometimes you can get some good uh, badges in there. You know, you, you, it's pretty much nothing real good compared to the Dunk Toba pack. But there is still some value in those uh, slasher badge packs. But we do keep on the grind on this, uh, on this leveling journey. Um, I don't, I'm only at 41k right now. I think at the time of editing, I'm around 65, 70k. So I do a lot of renting of cards. I've got a whole list on like my computer of how much cards cost and how much it'll take me to complete sets and stuff like this. So uh, I'm not locking in any sets, but I do want to get as much XP done as possible. Uh, by the way, first highlight of our video here, snatch blocking a green timed animation dunk with Mr. Wilt Chamberlain. And then Wilt is just so much fun. Like this is all unlimited. Um, I just had so much fun using Wilt this weekend it was just a lot of fun um we do the dunk toba uh like the challenges i think you have to get a dunk in six different challenges uh six different game modes i should say we end up getting Lou Dort, which will help us we'll do Lou, Lou Dort's challenge later towards the video uh we do level 32 so once again continuing to get up here i'm pretty sure by the end of this episode we're like level 35 or something no i think level 34 potentially uh we do get a diamond shoe pack though from leveling up to level 32 which is very handy for us we get a puma dreamer 2 and a lot of uh shoe boost there as you can see which are very very handy uh, a plus three three point which will be a very very handy if you want to put that on a diamond shoe or whatever later down the line and also a plus three strength there now a prime time three award pack doing more challenges like i just want to get all the packs that i could possible um i did all the like as many spotlights as many weeklies the pickup games did all those so that i could get these done uh here's the slasher pack from before by the way from the locker code I open this bad boy up and uh we get a vertical plus three and slithery and those silver contracts not too bad this is all from limited this stuff here is all from limited and it's very very worth it you look at this stuff here we got the gold plus threes um selling back a lot of cards here it was a good weekend to sell your cards people were looking at getting a lot of limited cards done uh so you can see in the top right the vc is uh so the mt is up around the 80k um not as high as i'd like um but it will get a lot higher before the end of the episode uh it is definitely very very high uh so you want to make sure you stick around for that we get so much mt and tokens from draft it is ridiculous opening more packs here from doing challenges we're getting dirk just a lot of uh just a lot of mt potential with selling off a lot of those cards you can see before we got the draft token and we're also up to level 33 now which is fantastic which means we unlock the man mr kelly trupaka so um trupaka trupaka i think that's how you say his name um but we unlock him his challenge is a bit annoying it's 250 points across like multiple games so um it, i think it's 2500 xp you get from that but here he is though mr kelly i'm very very excited um to have him i don't think i'll use him in my lineup i think my lineup's a bit too good for him at the moment but it's still a really handy card to have for limited or for other weekends where I might need him. Um, and overall, a very nice card to have, especially for Detroit. There's not a lot of good Detroit cards out there, so it's nice to have him for challenges. Now, we went through and did these spotlights um, of the Dunktober weekend. I don't actually think I did the fifth one from memory. I don't actually think I finished all of them, uh, but we have another slasher pack here. Um, and these are always handy. These these are heavily underrated, these like three card packs. Uh, Fearless and a plus three shoe boost and a contract. Another one here, Dunking Duo. This is These are all triple threat games, by the way. 
away. You can see it on the bottom, triple threat, 21 points, and we get a three badge, um, like a, a three pack, um, pack out of this, a three card pack I should say out of this, so we get a silver contract, fast switch and driving layup, now this is the draft right here, I have sped it up a little bit as you can probably tell this is using the Dunk Toba cards, we get Josh Smith, Gary Harris and Cam Reddish our coach, uh, we have the choice between Tom Thibodeau, Mark Do Not, I can't even say his name, and Rick Carlisle, I'm going to take Rick all every day of the week, our point guards though, Mike Connolly, Damian Lillard and Muggsy Bogues, I'm going to take Dill uh, Damian Lillard and Muggsy Bogues there, um, and look, overall right now, this is a great lineup. like even right now in Unlimited, this, this lineup right here is very, very nice. Um, this shooting guard position was a bit weak there. Uh, our small forward also a bit weak. We have Mallow and Shane Battier. So in terms of our bench for a small forward shooting guard, wasn't the greatest in the world. But with Gary Harris and Cambridge, I don't really need much else there. Uh, for a powerful, we get Kevin Love and uh, Truck Robinson. I was going to take John Collins though because Truck is horrible on the exterior. So I want to make sure I have him, Mr. John Collins. If you saw his dunk today, it was absolutely mental. And there he is there, Mr. Rudy Gobert. So it's a very, very nice lineup. Um, I, I, I swept the ball. I'm pretty sure it's 10 and 0. I think it's 10 and 0 uh, to get the full amount of picks there. You can see a switch route dunk there with Mr. Josh Smith and Rudy Gobert. I tell you what, this card is such a good defender. Like, he is uh, he's one of the top defenders in the game. Like, I mean, up there with Wilton Kareem. Like, this dude is absolutely insane. Damian Lillard catching a bit of ankles here. A fantastic green there. Get that to go. And uh, that guy actually ended up quitting. This guy tried to delay me. Toxic hyped. If you come up against him, make sure you don't, like, go up by more than five points because you want to delay you for the whole game. We try to draw a charge there on this guy, but have a look at this, right? Dennis Schroeder, two-hand snatch block with Rudy Gobert. I absolutely love this card, but don't you, just you wait. Just you wait because it gets a lot better. Josh Giddy driving towards the rim. Rudy Gobert, two-hand snatch block on a one um, Tomahawk dunk. That is amazing. That was one of my clips of the year so far. I absolutely loved it. Uh, now, we did go 10-0. I'm pretty sure it's 10-0. We get our 31 picks, and this is the Ascension board. I'm very... I love this. I love this the, coming into a draft pick, uh, like at the end of a draft, with 31 picks. There is so much MT and token potential here. It is unbelievable. Now, you can see we're picking off a lot of tokens. We're getting a lot of, like, two times and three times multipliers, which are very handy. Um, unfortunately, they don't stack. I wish maybe in the future, maybe 2K will have the feature where they might stack, so you can get five times, eight times, so on and so forth. But um, yeah, top board already here. Amethyst player pack, diamond contract. So we get a diamond contract, which they're, they're selling for quite a bit. People are pulling their Kareems, getting their Wilts, getting their Glenn Robinsons towards the end of the season. They want to add diamond contracts to their players. And so they're, they're desperate on the market to get these cards. Um, you can see here though, getting a lot of MT. This is by far like the best, and I would say easiest way to get a lot of tokens of MT, especially if you know money spent, because your team does not matter. Like you can have the worst cards in the game that you pulled, but you can, it's completely fair game in terms of uh, in terms of draft. Obviously, people can get better drafts than others. I came up against like a pink diamond cream, as I said at the beginning, but t towards the end, like I, I just it was blowing people out though, ended up quitting, and it was really handy for me at the end of the day. So I was able to get this done. You can see here though, coming to the the end here we get a few more tokens but take a look at this when this is done have a look at this right so we start on 103 and 15 tokens 103,000 uh, MT and 15 tokens just look how satisfying is this like I was just sitting there this is sped up two times I was just sitting here looking at this go up and it's the most satisfying thing in the world so we get around 40 plus tokens and around 10k of MT but not only that we get a lot of packs as well so we got the deluxe pack from finishing we get zebra ball and Michael Ray Richardson not the greatest in the world we do get an amethyst player pack so pop this bad boy open. Look, there's not a lot of there's not a lot of bad uh, things about having an amethyst player. You might not use the card, but people are still on the search for adding amethyst cards to your lineup. So it is uh it's still good selling these cards off. I've got to go through my entire collection and sell all my cards. Um, at the end of this video, I do sell a lot. Um, and we make a lot of MT, but I'll definitely have to go through and do a lot more. Cliff Hagen, though, from the Atlanta Hawks, will take him any day of the week. Here is the diamond contract. Very, very happy about having this. Uh, pop that bad boy open. They're going for around 27K, I think, at the moment. Something like that. 27, 28K. So not the highest in the world. Not as high as they've been, but they're definitely up there compared to, like, midweek sort of thing. So uh, we'll pop this, though. This was a diamond shoe pack. Um, we got the Kobe. Uh, Kobe was that. The Kobe 11s there. Um, and we get one more card as well. So a lot of, a lot of uh, shoe boost 
boost and we get a plus four lateral quickness, which will kind of help us. Uh, it's not the greatest plus four in the world, but we'll still take it. Now we're doing a standard league pack from completing the pickup challenge this week, or uh, well, like one of the days this week. Yeah, I think they reset every day from memory. So that's just a free kind of pack you can get every single day. It's like a 20 minute game. Just do some challenges, do whatnot. Uh, we do sell out for 25.8, so not the highest, but it does put us over 125. And this is where the lot of MT come into, into, into effect here. We, uh, we sell off a lot of cards. I rent a lot of cards. You can see here, I've got like a signed Terrence Ross. I've got the normal Terrence Ross. I got like a lot of the Dunk Tober cards. I just sell all these bad boys back and uh, we, we reach that 200K mark, which I'm very, very happy about. Um, we, I'm gonna continue to rent cards. You can see here, 64, 60, you know, probably 65 by the time I'm recording this video, 65K MT. And this is a look at the lineup here. Uh, it's not the best in the world. It hasn't actually changed since last episode, interestingly enough. It's just a lot of MT, a lot of tokens tokens that we've added to the lineup, added to the uh, the account, I should say. I'll be very happy with how we're going, and uh, yeah, we'll move across into the outro. All right, guys, big thanks for watching that video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, yeah, look, one, once again, the draft, the draft that we had was absolutely fantastic. Really, really loved the draft that we had, and the rewards were very, very good as well. Um, and so we're now up over the 200k MT park, um, and, and looking, looking towards getting a pink diamond potentially from the market. I might just save until the Galaxy Opals come out just to see if they add any more pink diamonds to the pink diamond tier. To like the token market so i might just save a little bit i might be i might just be a bit stupid and, and end up buying one anyway but yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video any feedback down below is always appreciated um i always leave like a, a question in the pinned comment so if you guys feel free to, to reply to that that would be dope um we did hit 10 likes on the video i think like two videos ago like two, consistently the past two videos so if we hit 10 again that would be absolutely dope so i um i will catch you guys in the next video tomorrow's video which is the top 10 plays of week number two and uh yeah i'll see you guys there peace